Good day everyone! It's me again, Architect Jefferson Bulan. And this video is exclusive for the graphics students and also the visual techniques one students. So in this video, we'll, we will be tackling about lettering. So, kagaya ng mga nabanggit ko on my last tutorial, uh, more on sinabi ko lang sa inyo kung ano ang kahalagahan ng tamang pagsusulat in terms of on how architectural students or aspirants must do their handwriting especially when lettering okay so we will be using the book technical drafting one 1992 by Cardenas and Francisco so this book matagal na nating ginagamit ito sa ating departments architecture department so natakel dito yung general divisions of letters so we have two types of gen, uh, general division ng letters first is drawn and then another is yung written so what is drawn drawn o yung d r a w n kumbaga drawing na lettering naalala nyo before sa mga lumang sinehan sa mga lumang klasing sinehan o sa mga lumang signages nang hindi pa uso yung mga with with lit o yung may mga ilaw na let na signages, di ba? Dati pinipaint pa o kung dati wala pang tarpaulin, doon pa lang sa puting tela nag nagsusulat, di ba? Tuwing may mga piyesta, may mga festival, may mga congrat may pa-congratulation si mayor, may pa-welcome, di ba? So, yung drone sa general division of letters, yun yung mga gagawan mo muna ng outline and then pipinturahan gamit ng brush yung lettering mismo. Okay? Uh, let's say, for example, sa letter C, when we see drone, gagawin mo muna yung outline. Okay, let's say, this is C. Gagawin mo muna yung outline and then yung yung painter or yung artist, kukulayan niya naman ito. Okay? So, yun yung tinatawag na drone lettering. Now, what is the another division sa general division of lettering? Another specified in the book, Technical Drafting 1, is yung written. What is written? Yun yung mga single stroke. Okay ba? Mga single stroke. A, B. So, yung normal na pagsusulat ng tao. Yun yung mga written. Now, let's proceed to the general proportion of letters. Sa general proportion of letters, we have three. First is the normal letters. Next is the compressed letters. And the third one is the extended letters. You can see that on page 19 under technical drafting lettering. So, yun. Sa normal letters, yun yung mga letters na hindi masyadong narrow, hindi rin masyadong wide o hindi masyadong extended. Normal lang. Kumbaga, uh, sabi nga dito, yung I, it shall be the narrowest, no? Kasi yung iba ang ginagawa kay I, ano ba ang ginagawa ng iba kay I, di ba? Kapag nagle-lettering yung iba kay I, ganito. Di ba? But supposedly, based on the book, I should be the narrowest. Siya dapat yung pinaka- Payat. Siya yung pinaka, kumbaga, hindi, hindi, hindi malapad. Now, next is, kung meron tayong pinaka payat, meron din tayong pinaka malapad. So, sino ba ang letter na pinaka malapad? You think? Is it M? Is it uh, X? Is it Z? It's, of course, W. So, kung sa normal lettering, si W dapat ang single stroke na widest. Okay? Yung iba kasi, masyado namang narrow ang ginagawa nilang W. Kung baga ganyan yung W nila, which is, dapat itong isang type. For us to prove na siya yung widest in terms of single stroke uh, normal lettering. Next is, ano ba yung mga second widest letters? We have O, we have Q, and 
and we have M. So, these three letters, base Kila Cardenas, ito yung tatlong letters na second widest. Okay? Wala pa tayo sa third uh, proportioning, which is the extended letters. Ha? Nandito pa lang tayo kay normal letters. Now, next is, ano-ano ba yung mga third widest letters while others are of average width? Yun na yung sila A, C, okay? Yan na raw yung mga average. Sila-sila na yung mga average. So, okay? Kapag, again, kapag sinabi natin normal letters, yun yung hindi narrow. They are not too narrow and they are not too wide. Okay? So, that's the first proportion in letters. Next is, we have compressed. Now, kapag sinabing compressed, di ba? Meaning, compressed, siniksik, kumbaga parang sinandwich, no? Pressed din in. So, meaning, meron silang uh, katangian na ang normal letters, you have to make it in a version of a compressed one. Yun lang din eh. Like for example, we have, let's say, this one, we have A. Then, if, if you have to make a compressed letter A, then, you have to have a... Hindi naman ganyan kanipis na. Pero, at least, like this. The second one, the third one will do. Okay? So, these letters are narrow in width in proportion to the height and are used when space is limited. Okay? So, parang, ano siya? Uh, Naka-italic siya. Kung baga, hindi siya naka-normal kung, kung sa Word, Microsoft, di ba? So, the third one, we have the extended letters. These letters are wider than the normal letters and are used when the space is very wide. So, let's say, kagaya niyan, nga, di ba? May normal tayo na A. Now, if we need to have an extended letters, then we shall have this kind of A. Ito. Alright. So, based sa, based sa ating proportioning, bakit, uh, wide, bakit pa natin kailangan ng compress at bakit pa natin kailangan ng extended letters? It is because of, doon na nang galing eh, general proportions of letters, but not limited only to the lettering, di ba? Kasi nga, kapag gumagawa tayo ng isang output, or ng isang presentation, let's say, a drawing presentation. And sabi dito, di ba, if you have a limited space, you need to use a compressed letters. And if you have a wider space, to maximize it, you need to use a extended letters. Now, to have uh, that kind of proportion, kaya sinabi ko kanina na importante ng gumamit ng extended or ng compressed is because we need to have a balance and proportion in terms of presenting our presentation or let's say you have a drawing here you have a drawing at the center and you need to write on the title of that drawing no and then you have a limited space kasi nga may drawing ka pa dito sa tabi or dito sa gilid then you you have to make a way para kumasa yung lettering mo so the only solution is to have a compressed one now Likewise, kung meron ka namang malawak-lawak and medyo, uh, kumbaga, mahangin ang iyong papel dahil nga sobrang luwag, ang daming espasyo, so, you have to make a way na medyo puno sa tignan para hindi masyadong magaan tignan sa mata. So, the solution is to use a extended letters or the wider version of the lettering. So, that's it. Again, just a recap. For, for the general division of letters, again, we have two. First is the drawn, and another is the written or single stroke letters. Now, let's proceed to the single stroke letters. For the single stroke letters, we have the general proportion of letters, which, is, which are, we have, meron tayong tatlo. Una, we have the normal letters, not too narrow, not too wide. 
Next is compressed letters. Ito yung mga nakakompress, yung mga siniksik. Kapag meron tayong limited space. Now, we will use the third type which is the extended letters na ginagamit naman kapag, we, kapag tayo ay merong wider space. Kapag may espasyo tayong maluwag na kailangang punuin at balansehin sa mata ng pagpipresentan mo or ng babasa ng content ng iyong presentation. Now, for this teaching learning activity, we have an assessment task which is the plate number 4 and plate number 5. And sa dalawang assessment task na yun, we will see on how you will practice your normal lettering using pencil and another plate is to use a compressed lettering or extended lettering medyo pipili lang kayo doon using technical pens naman and we are trying to practice your abilities to have an inner eye for a balance and proportion in presenting your output no so Assume that your instructors are your clients and we must see your presentation as a competitive one compared to others. So that's it. I hope you've learned something and you could also read the book if you opt not to watch this video but I guess it would be better to read and watch this video para medyo mas madali sa inyo kung medyo uh, wala kayong manahirapan kayong makahanap ng copy ng book but we have attached some parts and we've created a module for you to read a summarized version of the technical drafting one by Cardenas and Francisco that's all so thank you guys